we'll see you soon. Breaking now, first at four, Plainfield police now identifying a woman and her estranged ex-husband who died in a murder-suicide this morning. It's a story we've been following since it broke early this morning, and Fox 59's Eric Graves spent the day in the quiet neighborhood where this happened, and he joins us now in the studio with the very latest. Yeah, Aaliyah, Dan, really a terrible situation. Plainfield police now identified Jessica Stobick as the woman killed this morning inside of her home on Gravillia Way in Plainfield. Police say Ryan Gibbs, who you're seeing on your screen right now, is Stobick's estranged ex-husband. Police say he's the suspect who broke into her home around 3.30 this morning, killing her and then killing himself. A spokesperson for Plainfield Police provided updates but did not go on camera. Police got a burglary call for the address around 3.30 this morning and found both people dead inside the home. Three children were in the home, but none of them were hurt. Police tape wrapped the home this morning as investigators filed in and out through falling snow. Investigators also seen taking pictures outside the home. Multiple cameras seen outside as well. Neighbors we talked to who did not want to go on camera say they were shocked to see the scene, but say they had had concerns about Gibbs before. Back in April, court records say Gibbs dropped flyers in the neighborhood and at Stovic's job with indecent pictures of her and saying she sold drugs. Officers investigated the flyers in an incident where officers say Gibbs was caught on camera putting something in Stobick's driveway. Gibbs was then arrested days later for stalking, violating a protective order, resisting law enforcement, and distributing an intimate image. Stobick even posted on a neighborhood Facebook page at that April incident asking her neighbors to look out for Gibbs, saying her ex-husband was escalating and she was just trying to keep her family safe. Court records show Gibbs was on GPS monitoring for a while, but that GPS monitoring was removed in November, just less than two months before this incident. Plainfield Police all ask, also asking for the community's support as this comes just a week before Christmas. In Plain, er, here in the studio, Eric Graves, Fox 59 News. Eric, thank you.